You know how you uh, Westerners, you always wail and whinge about immigrants, about foreigners coming into your countries. And now that it's a big thing in the election campaign, the, the presidential campaign, uh, complaining about foreigners coming into your countries and some of them committing crimes inside your borders. So now you want to crack down on immigration, legal and illegal immigration. Okay, I understand that. We feel the same way. And there are no foreigners who come into our countries and commit crimes, crimes on a vastly larger scale than you. Your armies, your military bases, your multinational corporations, your banks. And we're tired of this invasion of aliens into our borders, disrupting our societies, stealing, cheating, vandalizing, corrupting, uh, and raping and pillaging our resources. We're tired of that too. We know how you feel, times 10. So I think we need uh, our own border walls, regulatory walls, walls of policy that restrict your ability to infiltrate our borders. And you know, whoever's in our countries now, uh, whoever is in our countries now and stealing and exploiting and abusing our people and our resources, whatever company, whatever military and whatever intelligence agency that may be, they need to be deported. Yes, you took our wealth and then you don't want our people to come anywhere near where you took it. The place you took it to. You don't want the people to be reunited with their things. That's why you hate immigration from the global south. You don't want the people to be reunited with the wealth that you stole from them. And we know who you mean when you rant about immigration. You don't mean uh, some flood of intra-Western immigration. You don't mean white immigration or European immigration. You mean people from the countries that you robbed. You don't want your victims anywhere near you. Well, okay, we don't want our victimizers anywhere near us. So you need to go back to your countries. And the first ones, the first illegal aliens that need to be repatriated back to where they came from are the Zionists. Oh yes, you talk about illegal immigrants coming into your country and committing crimes. Meanwhile, uh, you have been funding and facilitating the mass migration of illegal immigrants into our land, Palestine and literally arming and training and colluding with them in their crimes, their war crimes, their crimes against humanity for decades. We're not talking about street crime. We're not talking about shoplifting. And then the rest of your criminal aliens in our lands have to go. Unless, of course, they learn to assimilate with our values. They need to assimilate with our values, with our culture, with our laws, with our customs, and with our morals. If you want to be in our lands, then you have to assimilate. Does that sound familiar? And you have to contribute to our countries. Does that sound familiar? Not parasitically leech off of us to enrich your home countries, which is what you do. Oh, we are resetting the terms of our relationship with you. And it's about time. All of the elements of your economies that rely upon our subjugation, upon our, our exploitation, and upon our deindustrialization, and upon violation of our sovereignty, corruption of our political systems, debt, slavery, and on and on and on, all of the elements of your economy that depend on that evil, uh, where well, you're going to have to figure out some other way to survive. And that's a you problem. 